I don't. Oh, now I do. <laughs> from Washington, we spent the next several weeks getting settled into life aboard. We had a steady schedule of homeschooling and boat work and fishing. Heather, you want to work on your number three worksheet? Start from the top. Start from the top. Always start at the top of the number. Yeah, there you go. Actually, the thing is black. Yeah, but I can't find black. I know. Sorry. But but I was just going to say we, we can... There's so much that we have to do and learn before we set sail on our big adventure that it can be a bit overwhelming at times. But the routine of daily life helped keep us focused and grounded during this time. though it was time to celebrate Adler's birthday and he had a few things to say about how to make a wish. How it works. If you, you um, have to um, make a wish in your mind and don't just say you want to make a wish in your mind throw it in. 
Okay. What happens if you say it out loud? It won't come true. Hmm, why not? Because it does work. Okay. Somebody, your wish, it, it will not come true still. So don't tell anybody what I wish for? Uh-huh. Okay. And don't say it out loud. We are preparing Adler's birthday dinner. He asked for sushi. So we're preparing the sushi, the store-bought sushi, and trying to surprise him a little bit with some silly string. <laughs> the silly screen tastes good. Come up so we can see you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Oh, good job. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. the closest one to being a dolphin. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I think that was exactly Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Why am hello. I not filming this on my phone? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're wow. under us now. Maybe they're under us. see where it went? Wow. Ryan, 
you're awesome. That's cool. I feel like I'm on a fishing show or something. There you go. <laughs> so when you're getting ready to cast, reel that line up so you got about a foot to a foot and a half of line at the end. Something that looks like that there. You don't want to reel that jig all the way up to the top. And you don't want to leave too much line out like that because basically your bait just won't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So that sweet spot that gives you the most distance and the most, most control over your cast is about a foot, foot and a half. The next little trick that will really help you out is keeping your line in line with your rod. So if you're getting ready to cast and you notice your line's over here on the side or the bottom or the other side, just give this a swing up so that's nice and in line. That's gonna prevent the bale from closing on you during your cast. And once you got everything in line and you're ready to actually go for it, you're gonna take your right hand, hold your line to your rod. With your left hand, you're gonna flip this bar over. This is called your bale. Just gonna click that over just like that. Now from here, it's very similar, just like throwing a baseball or a football. You're gonna bring it back over your shoulder. We're gonna sling it out right towards those mangrove trees. And when you get to right about here, or wherever you let go of that baseball or football, all you're gonna do is just let go of that line. And the whip of the rod and the weight of the jig is gonna do all the work for you. Which is mine. You can have this one if you want. All right. And once you're out, you'll just flip that bale back over, oh. give it a couple cranks just to tighten up that line. Ooh, this one's already getting bites. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I already got a bait. Oh, a little bit. Nibble, nibble. <laughs> nice. All right. And you hang on to that one, and when you feel a fish on there, you're going to reel, real, real fast. All right. How do you reel exactly? This? <laughs> the way he says exactly is so cute. <laughs> like good bite. I know, but I'm, I'm, I think something might have got it like I when I cast out. That and I might have like tucked my bait. You reeled in okay, too no. much, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, still there. Just gotta make sure. Yeah. Your brother is the fishing, fishing king, so it's kind of intimidating because Oh my god, how is it intimidating? Because he every time he casts out, he's like, oh, I got a bite. And then usually he has. It's Whereas the rest of us are like, he Wee. has luck. That's what it is for him. He's got some luck. Oh. Nice one. That huh? was a really good cast. Did okay. me? Oh, it's a mangrove. That's okay. okay. It's a little bigger. Oh. Please don't push me. Out. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm big. Hey. It's so pink. That guy's called a mutton it's snapper. Big. Oh, this is mutton whoa. snapper. Okay. Do Not we? a mangrove snapper. No. Is this a keeper or no? No, nah, it's too short. They gotta be 14 inches or larger. Dad, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one. Okay. Good job. Well, thank you. Don't wipe. I'm not wiping anything. There you go. Oh, hold on. Hi. Would you uh, other way? You tell me. Like this. Good job, Adler. You can't reel forward with this one. Can I put it back? Sure. And make sure it doesn't flop back. I'm gonna try. Good job. Hold it, hold it Pretty tight. Pretty floppy. Adler. Okay. High five. Go, toss them in. Bye. Bye. If you guys want to play, I'm going to pick up speed, throw a wave, and see if you want to jump in the waves. Okay.
That was awesome.